Okay, folks, really quick little video here. We're gonna look at a one microphone drum recording technique. So first you need a new empty project in Logic or your DAW, and you just need one track for the one mic. I'm gonna use the SM58 for this. Obviously, normally you wouldn't use this on the drum kit, but that's kind of the point. This is a mic widely available, and obviously there are lots of cheaper copies of this type of mic, which are probably easier for students to get their hands on. We're gonna place it above my right shoulder on a mic stand over the drum kit pointing at the gap between the kick drum and the snare drum. So here's our recording, let's just have a little listen to it. Okay, good. Let's make it sound a bit better. First thing we're gonna do is add some compression. So I'm just gonna bring in a normal compressor here to go about four to one ratio. Click on minus 12. I'm gonna leave all these settings as they are. And then I'm just gonna bring my, uh, my threshold down. And I'm gonna bring my output down so that it's not Okay, great. And I'm just gonna add some EQ now to bring out some of the lows, some of the highs and try and accent that snare a little bit. So I'm gonna boost some lows here and just search for that thuddy frequency. And then I'm gonna boost some highs to bring out some of the hi-hats because remember this is only coming from one mic. And then I'm gonna boost some mids to try and find some of that cymbal, uh, some of that snare sound. And then I'm just gonna bring the overall level down a bit so we're not peaking. Last thing I'm gonna do is add a limiter. So I'm gonna go into dynamics, I'm gonna add the standard logic limiter. I'm gonna bring my release right down. All of this I'm gonna leave, and I'm just gonna try and get more gain so that we're getting about minus three to minus six reduction on the middle meter. And we've got an extra 12 dB there. Okay, let's hear the whole thing. Okay, brilliant. So that's become quite a usable recording uh, that you someone could easily play to. It accents the lows and the highs and a bit of the snare, uh, and it's only from one mic. So there you go. And there we have it, a really simple way to record a drum kit with one fairly standard, low-cost microphone. Hope that was helpful. Love to hear your recordings in the future. Take care.